Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, today we're going to show a demonstration and also a bit of a challenge for anyone out there who has a black screen to do the exact same demonstration we are doing right now. Um, in this demonstration, we're going to show you the difference between our black screen and any other black screen out there on the market. So if someone says to us, hey, what is the difference between a, your black screen and, a, and your black screen, sorry, and any other black screen out there, we can show you the difference. The nano black technology screens has, is a unique black screen and I'll tell you why. It has the ability to be able to produce perfect white levels and black levels and color levels all at the exact same time. Now with some of these black screens on the market, you have something called oversaturation of contrast level where the screen is producing so much of a high level of, of black levels that basically when it comes to skin tone, when it comes to uh, white levels or natural beautiful colors, just the picture image it comes out dirty, very, very dirty. So we're gonna show you where we're gonna be standing at. My projector is about a good, maybe about 12 to 13 feet from the screen. Uh, we are gonna be using my Casio projector lamp free DLP. This is a laser and lead uh, combination projector at t only 2500 lumens. We do not need 42 or 5,000 or 6,000 lumens, just overkill. We feel that when you're using a projector that high caliber, pretty much the projector is doing all the work and the screen's doing nothing. I mean, it's like when you go into a demonstration at Best Buy and you see a uh, high end screen up there and they're using a 4K 5,000 lumen projector, and at home you have a 1080p projector at probably around uh, 2,000 lumens, of course that screen's gonna look better in the showroom because it's using a higher caliber projector where the projector is doing most of the work. All right, so like I said, we're in a fully lit environment, plenty of light, there is no darkness in my environment as you can see. All right, we're gonna be streaming this off the Chromecast. I'm gonna show you the difference between our screen and another black screen. Now the black screen is right here is a professional screen paint I purchased off Amazon is a black high contrast screen paint. Over here is the Nanotech technology screen by FutureTech. All right, so let's begin. Now you'll notice right from the door when you see the roses, look at the color of the roses, see how dark and dirty they are compared to are the roses that we have are brighter, more beautiful, have more detail. This is what you're getting. Now if you saw this screen without our screen next to it, you would think it was an amazing looking screen, but it's not. This is what you're actually getting. Uh, like I said, our screens can produce, I'm watching to show you something right here, I'm gonna pause right there. The reason I'm pausing it there is because I'm gonna show you something. Now you see both screen, screen, sorry, screen, screen both screens are producing good contrast as you can see. But look when it comes to the reds. See how the reds are dark here, they're bright here. The white levels are dark here, they're bright here. See that's what I'm talking about, oversaturation of contrast levels. You have to have a perfect balance of both. different angles see how much darker it is now I want to share something look at this now see how both black levels are the same but the black level on this side is dirty is brighter on this side that's the difference between our technology and some of these black screens on the market now blue check this out Greens. Back up here a minute. I want to get a good shot from behind the projector. White levels are very important. I see people doing a lot of demonstrations 
on these. I do uh, black contrast to show exactly how amazing the screen is, but it has to have a perfect level of a, it has to have a perfect balance of white levels. Also, white levels are very important. If not, the screen comes out looking dirty. See, right here, brighter here. Same black levels, but darker there. It's dirty there. Just get a much more cleaner picture with our black screens. Now we get to the black levels. This is what's going to amaze you. Now watch this. When you look at the city and the black levels, watch this. Now we're going to do blacks. Now watch this. See the difference? See how the city is dark, the white levels don't even show up, the white levels show up here. You have to have a perfect balance of both. Okay guys, thank you.